Hi everybody! So, I know I haven't done much um, recently, uh, we're not really been up to much, but um, I thought that so this is too good to, to really miss, to be honest with you, so this is a special Farmer Luke episode. Anyway, I'll explain more on the other side of this. I just got done loading uh, some potatoes. We've been bridging potatoes as per normal uh, this week. I've just finished loading him. It's a Saturday afternoon and I get a phone call from Farmer Clive uh, saying, well, I'm not gonna ruin the surprise yet because hopefully this is all gonna fit together. So um, yeah, he said, can I come down with the teleport, which I'm in now, uh, to do something. Hopefully this will come together nicely. So I just got here. So basically uh, we're gearing up to do some spring work, so fertilizer spread in and some spring drilling as well. So spring barley, spring wheat, so forth. And this field behind me, as you see, was too wet to put any winter cropping on. So we left it. And now it's just, we had a couple of days of sunshine. I say days, a few hours. Uh, everyone's gone mental to go and do some spring work. So we decided, well, I, well, I didn't decide, but to, in order to drill this field, we was gonna uh, spray it off. Cause you can see there's a lot of, um, black grass and other volunteers we don't want so farmer clive knowing the experienced man that he is uh knows it's been raining for a while isn't it farmer clive so instead is of it? just i don't know no, so instead of just coming out with a sprayer which is sensible we'll have a bit of a ride about to see you know we'll walk about to see if it's going to uh if it's going to stand the sprayer to make sure you don't get stuck and in doing that he's uh <laughs> let's have a closer look this is proper stuff He's managed to get his uh, hairdresser vehicle stuck, only not he, Yeah, he's got knobbly cars on and all, so they're useless when they fill up with mud. Yeah, but as we're standing here, I don't even hear the... I think he's driven the wettest bit of the field there is. I just want to see if we No, I didn't drive in the water. Ah. So I am a bit sharper than that. But then I probably would have got through it. Because when I was clearing here, I could get through the water. Mm. Except he was in a tractor. Not a freelander. <laughs> I need a bigger truck. He's not going. I need good. a new truck. Anybody who wants to give a you pay him some money. Yes. Yeah. Please him. tell people so we can just get sponsored to pay for this. It might encourage me to do one every day. <laughs> anyway, so the idea now is pretty simple. Attach said chain to said teleport, because that's the only thing we've got available down mine. And uh, hopefully the, pull him out. To the tow bar. Not to the, the tow bar, to the axle. This is to be hilarious. If we pull the axle off, that'll make a good video. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to we'll attach this. Land Rover built for this sort of stuff. Was built. Anyway, let's get this all attached. I didn't bring the times. I'm going to pick it up. Ah, you can see, you can see <laughs> Farmer Clive's been trying with the amount of black smoke that's been chucked out the back of the truck. Well, I've done that just to clear the engine here a bit. She's a bit choked up. You can see with the amount of salt. Anyway, right. Let's get him out. And let's get home because it's a Saturday afternoon. And it's raining now. Surprise, surprise. I've been dry for a few minutes. So we'll do, we'll do a bit of rain. Right. Get on. So with that hand signal, uh, we're done. He's out. Hey. So we're out. Da, 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 da. As you see, have you noticed who come and rescued Farmer Clive? Me. Where's Farmer Jordan? Oh, Farmer Jordan's too busy to do stuff like that. So remember that next time Farmer Clive moans with oh, me. We all got the tennis ball and the rope. Farmer yeah. Jordan's also got a rope and a tractor. He's got a tow rope and he broke that. That's <laughs> not my problem, is it? 
Anyway, so that's enough uh, into... That, that is enough um, sibling squabble, squ squabbling. Right, let's get uh, to Farmer Clive get home because it's Saturday afternoon and obviously he wants to watch the football. Watch the football. No, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Go to birthday party. Gotta go to birthday party. Oh, so what was the also as well? What was the score on Spain? Is this a yes or a no today? Uh, I'll give it a few days. Gonna give it a few days. Yeah, but like I said, if it soon don't grow up, I'll put a bit on Facebook. Somebody asked me for a bit of comment. And I said, if it soon don't grow up, it's actually going to be too late to actually drill everything, anything. Because as the days get longer, so if we drill barley, if we try and get no barley in here until probably April, probably the middle of April, looking how bad it is, if we get any more rain, it'll probably come here, it'll grow, come up, because the, it works on daylight hours when it wants to reproduce could be six inches high and start to come out in here. So basically, what, so Far, what Father Clark is saying, we're literally running out of time. There's a yeah, certain, really certain date. We've got, we've got about five months before we want to start combining. Um, we're so running out, we're running out of days to, to put stuff to in the a, floor. And if we miss combinable crop, if we miss anything from there, we can't turn around and have this potatoes because seeds in very, very short supply. We're getting cut seed. Um, this can't even, this can't probably come um, something else you can, I can't think of like potatoes you can't because we've not got enough seeds sugar no, beet as well we can just about get sugar beet then just Only but then that's on a quota system the quotas have been cut so um, the only thing you could grow maize or maize but then again for an AD plant, for an AD plant. Through, through but I've never really said I've like oh, never really said my thoughts on that but that is an option no it's the only option then but then, then it's late there. taking so, off making a mess in the field but anyway yeah. So yeah, right, we'll let Farmer Clive go home. See you later, Farmer Clive. So that is it. That very short episode has come to an end. I do apologise. Next week, we will be doing some more interesting stuff. Fingers crossed. So uh, I will film that. So with a bit of luck, we'll be digging some drains out. Not drains, but actually land drains to try and uh, see if you remember where I whipped them out. So that should be coming up. Also as well, we've got some more tailoring uh, back in to do. So yeah interesting week ahead i hope you enjoyed that very short episode and found it amusing and funny if you did please tell your friends and family and co-workers whoever will listen to see if i can reach a thousand subscribers and then i start getting some money which means that i can buy farmer clive a new truck apparently <laughs> not gonna happen um anyway so that's a joke but yeah please like subscribe and so forth and uh, if you did enjoy that and i'll see you guys again later